Maya from Own the Sidewalk and Below Freezing Beauty. And if you are a regular reader, uh, you're probably surprised to see a video. Um, I haven't really done a lot of vlogging in the past, but on the other hand, lately I haven't done a lot of blogging either. So let's try this and see if it works. Um, I want to talk today about uh, a new subscription service that I am trying out that I just got my first um, package. Uh, and I have in the past, um, I belong to um, a few beauty subscription services. I belong to Beauty Fix like way in the beginning, in the early days of Beauty Fix, um, and it didn't work out for a variety of reasons, um, although I found some great stuff through them. Um, and if you want to know why it didn't work out, I will... This is YouTube, right? So I can just put a link in the bottom bar? I'll do that! All right. Um, currently, I belong to Birchbox, which is $10 a month. Uh, I'm really, really happy with it. I like it a lot. Um, it's fun. It's actually like sort of the highlight of my month to get my little box and see what's in there. I also belong to Julep Maven. Um, I've, it's a little more expensive. It's $20 a month. It's mostly nail polish. I really like the products that I've gotten from them, um, but I haven't gotten a box the last couple of months just because I have so much nail polish that I, it's sort of hard to justify. Um, my husband is actually going to drop dead from shock when he hears that. And what I want to talk about today is little black bag. Little black bag. Um... And this is a, like jewelry, accessories, home, beauty, I guess accessories would be the, the sort of overarching theme, uh, subscription service. I heard about this through clout.com. Um, I got a clout perk uh, where I got, um, for having a certain clout score, I got uh, an extra bonus gift in my, um, in my little black bag, which as you can see, incidentally, is not actually... It doesn't come in a little black bag. It comes in like a like a medium-sized white box. Um, but that's not a very catchy name, medium-sized white box. So a uh, good call, Little Black Bag branding team. Um, so basically how Little Black Bag works, it works like all the other subscription services. You take a quiz to determine what your style is. Um, and I don't know... I, you know, some of these services, I don't know why they have you take the quiz, because clearly they're then just presenting you with the same choices they're presenting with everyone else. So, I mean, frankly, little black bag, if you're listening, you could skip the style quiz. Um, I think I'm really just looking at the same selection that everyone else is looking at. So I think, you know, just because everyone else does it doesn't mean you have to do it. The way little black bag actually works is a little bit, well, a lot different. Um, because instead of just, instead of either getting a showroom that you pick an item from or just getting what you get, like with Birchbox, um, you pick one item, then two, one to three other items are picked for you by a little black bag. Um, and then you can choose whether or not, you don't get to find out what the other items are until after you've decided to buy the bag. Um, and then there's this completely different twist, which is that once you've paid for your bag, your bag, once you've paid for your bag, you can trade the items in your bag with other Little Black Bag members. So there's um, like a social media marketplace sort of aspect to it. Um, and that's really what makes it different. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute because I think before you buy your first Little Black Bag, if you're going to buy a Little Black Bag, you have to know a little, you have to, you have to strategize a little bit. And I didn't my first time. So I'm learning my second time and I am going to share my wisdom with you in the hope that if you decide to do this, you'll learn from my mistakes. So um, it's a little bit more expensive than, um, well, it's a lot more expensive than the other subscription services that I've belonged to. It's $55 a month. Um, it's actually $49.90 five or something and then they charge you shipping five dollars shipping on top of that and I was drawn to it because they have uh, a, a good selection of Betsy Johnson jewelry and I really love Betsy Johnson jewelry and I really object to paying full price for Betsy Johnson jewelry because you know it's fun it's cute um, but it's mass-produced it's made in China um, it's not like super duper high quality but I like it a lot um, but I have a hard time being willing to pay you know 30 50 70 a hundred dollars for a piece of jewelry that I don't feel is quite worth that price, um, but uh, I figured I would try out Little Black Bag because if I could get a piece or two of Betsy Johnson jewelry and then a couple of other things, that I feel like it would probably be worth my $55. Um, so the piece that I selected for my, my personal selection was this necklace from Betsy Johnson, which I love. It's got these really cute, you know, like resin roses. It's got little bird with a little 
pearl necklace. It's got some pearls. It's got, you know, a little bit of rhinestone. It's, um, it's fun. It's cute. Now the price tag came with the price tag on it is $55. Um, so that's a retail, retail price. Um, I would not have paid $55 for this necklace. True confession time. All of my Betsy Johnson jewelry comes from Nordstrom Rack never paid full price. My understanding is that this is a lot of this stuff is stuff that would be headed to Nordstrom Rack and other um, sort of uh, discount stores anyway. So you would be seeing this in like your Nordstrom Rack or your Marshalls or um, Ross maybe. Um, so, so it's not like I could walk into Nordstrom today and buy this necklace for $55 and then I got this screaming deal because I got all this other stuff on top of it. Um, so that was a piece I chose myself. Then I received two, three other, I would have received two other pieces in my first bag, but I also had this clout perk. Um, so I got three other pieces. Knowing now what I didn't know then, I should have been able to turn that into a lot more loot. Um, but like I said, there's a little bit of a learning curve that I'm going to try to help you break in this video. Um, so the other items that I got in my box, uh, my bag were, um, a clutch that I will show you because I kept it, uh, and two pairs of earrings that, um, somebody else might have been able to pull off, but they just weren't going to happen for me. So I wasn't really clear at first. I didn't really get the whole trading thing. So at first I was like, oh, all right, well... I got this necklace and that's fine and I got that clutch but maybe I'll send it all back apparently they have a really great return policy um, but then they took me into the trading phase and when I got in onto the trading screen already I had all these offers that had been submitted by other members who were willing to trade things that they had for things that I had I took my two pairs of um, I'm not gonna say ugly because somebody else wanted them my two pairs of earrings that didn't work for me and I traded them for um, these Super cute Betsy Johnson rhinestone earrings. They are, they're bigger than I thought they were on the website. They're actually, um, got to pull one in. They're pretty good size. They're a little bit heavy, um, but they're cute. Um, so I got these and these retailed originally for $35. I don't know what you would find them for now at TJ Maxx or Nordstrom Rack or wherever you would find them, but originally $35. Um, so if I were the kind of sucker who pays full price for Betsy Johnson jewelry, um, already I'm up to 90 bucks, 55, 35, 90. So we're doing pretty well. And then I traded my other pair of undesirable earrings, um, for this Michael Marcus nail polish in read your mind. Um, and it's like a cute, it's a cute little bottle. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I really like the red color. It's a, it looks like a jelly kind of cream. Um, no glitter, no shimmer, just straight up red, um, which I love. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, and then the last thing that I got, which was uh, originally put in my bag and I thought about trading it, um, but I didn't, and then I thought maybe I'd send it back, but then it got here and I actually really like it. Um, is this BCB generation clutch, um, which didn't look that impressive on the site, but when it got here in person, um, I actually really like it. It's got these like little pewter screws on the back. The retail price is $78. Um, I wouldn't have paid $78 for it, but considering I got it for 55 bucks with two pieces of jewelry that I really like and a nail polish, um, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then on the inside, what I like about it is that it, it actually is functional. So you have, you know, credit card slots and it has a zippered pouch and you could actually, you know, it's utilitarian. You could actually carry this. So that's what I got in my first little black bag. I'm really happy with it. Um, $55 a month is not uh, an expense that I'd be willing to commit to. The nice thing about Little Black Bag, like other subscription services, is that um, you can skip a month at any time. So I was kind of thinking I would skip the second month, but, um, but when my showroom opened up, actually before my showroom for June opened up before my May, like two days before my May box showed up. I don't know if that's because I... I don't know if I ordered late in May or what, but um, was not super impressed by the shipping time. Um, but 
but they didn't charge me extra to send it to Alaska, which is a win in my book. Um, so I picked a pair of really cute Betsy Johnson earrings. They have, again, they have little, uh, they have roses, they have rhinestones, they have gold. You know, it's very typical Betsy Johnson. They're dangly. Um, and then I received, my other two items were, um, gosh, I don't even remember because it was so many trades ago. <laughs> uh, oh, a lip gloss um, from a company that I never heard of. Um, and then uh, I think maybe another a pair of earrings that I wasn't wild about or a, it was maybe a bracelet. Anyway, um, that was two days ago. So the strategy, my strategy was this. I am going to attempt to trade up a little in dollar value on every item. And for the items that I'm not wild about, if someone offers me two items for them, I'm going to take that trade. So that was what I did in the beginning. I Someone offered me, I think, two items in trade for this bracelet or something that I had. And I took that. And then I had four items all of a sudden. And then um, I just traded up on those items each a little bit or um, traded them for two other items and so anyway, you can offer more than one item in trade, and some people are doing that. If they have two less expensive items, they'll trade them for um, a more expensive item, um, which is how I ended up with five items. There's another five days of trading. Um, I, I could be done right now. I could I could click ship right now and be okay with that, um, but I might keep going. I have to say the trading is really addictive and I was checking it all day yesterday. You get an email alert when you have a trade or I would just go check the website and see all these trades come up and then you can accept or decline them. Um, you can check and see how many people have passed on any trade offers that you've made. It's really, it's, um, I'm not gonna lie, like it's it's addictive. Um, it's a very, very clever twist because I think without, without the trading aspect, Little Black Bag wouldn't be that interesting to me, quite frankly. Um, you know, it's just too risky. You pick one piece, but you don't know what the other two pieces are going to be, or if it's even going to be two other pieces. Maybe it's only one other piece. And um, I, if I had just gotten the items that I got in my first Little Black Bag, even though I really like this necklace, um, the other two items were so unattractive to me that it definitely wouldn't have been worth $55. I mean, the, this is a, one of those occasions where it's a really great thing that we all have different tastes because I wanted nothing to do with these pairs of earrings that I got in my first box, but I ended up really happy with, uh, with what I got. I will put a link. I'm really excited about the bottom bar. This, this is a, a whole new world for me. Um, I will put a link in the bottom bar. Um, like a lot of these subscription programs, Little Black Bag has a referral benefit. So if you click my link and you sign up and you buy a Little Black Bag, um, then I get an extra piece in my next box which with some skill I will turn into two or three pieces but if you don't want to use my referral link you don't have to even though it would be awesome because I would get more stuff um but you can also go to I'm gonna point up because that's where the that's where you would put in a url right um go <laughs> go to littleblackbag.com and sign up there so you can use my referral link or you can do it on your own. Uh, thanks for watching this incredibly long rambly video. See ya.